everywhere you go, people try to label you, judge you, or try to define who you are by the color of your skin, the texture of your hair, the tone of your voice, and the way you carry yourself. All I'm saying is, before you judge, know your history. These are my people, and yes, we are Los Afro-Latinos. Here's our story. Do you know that my family is from Honduras? No, you're not. You're, you're black. Well, my family would speak Spanish at home. Really? Because I'm Afro-Latino, people are quick to think that I'm not Latino. Or because I'm black, they, they're quick to be like, oh, she's, she's not Latino. So there have been times where I find myself being like, I'm Latina. And then people go, no, you're not. I define Afro-Latino as a person of uh, Latino descent, which would be, you know, uh, generally speaking, it would be from the Caribbean in Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic or Cuba, or from Central and South America. Culturally Afro-Latino, I think <laughs> that's a mixed bag. Somos Latinos hablando español con descendencia de África. A lot of times in Latino, like, you know, in the Latino culture, just with people in general that I've dealt with, they're quick to deny their black roots. Mm -hmm. It's not good to be black for, you know, whatever <laughs> reason. Does your family recognize your black roots? Yes, they always talk about it to me. And I um, also talk about them to my children. My family absolutely recognizes our black roots. It's been a part of who we are. I do think that the image of Latino should change because of the fact that um, people have this very narrow view of what a Latino is supposed to look like and act like. They hire the Latinas, white Latinas, and they never give the opportunity to a black Latina to be in our novelas. If you look at Telemundo or Univision, you very rarely see dark-skinned Latinos, as if yeah. we don't exist. And that is uh, directly related to racism. When you see movies and you see these Latino actresses, they always have this one particular look. And in my family, it's a range of colors, it's a range of faces. You know, I have, for my family, it goes from very, very dark to very, very light. If you're a person of color in this country, there are always challenges. Uh, for certain folks that are African American, I wasn't black enough. For certain folks that were Puerto Rican, I wasn't Puerto Rican enough. I want to be able to see girls who look like me or girls who look like my, my friends who are Afro-Latino are up there, you know, because as a kid, when you don't have somebody who looks like that, you know, if you're already being told you're not, you're not enough, you know, and then you're watching TV and all you see is this particular image, it's, it's a little hurtful. When I speak Spanish in front of people, they, they told me, oh, I told you it was from America or from Haiti. It's very, very important for us to, for us to internally define who we are and what that means. And I think that uh, being Afro-Latino is something that I'm very proud of. I think it's really important that we have conversations about these things so that we can work through the challenges. We come in different shapes, different sizes, and different colors. But no matter what race you are, we're still the same thing. I am brown skin with an American accent and kinky hair, but that does not mean I am African American. Growing up Afro-Latino was a problematic thing for me because I knew who I was, but I just could not explain. All I knew was that my family spoke Spanish and Garifuna. All I really knew was that I love to eat el arroz con gandules, tostones y las baleadas. I want people to understand that black is just a color. It does not fully define who you are and where you're from. Me llamo Brianna Martinez, y yo soy un Afro-Latina de Honduras.